Okay, my 2C friends, we're going to learn how to stretch a sentence a little bit here, how to build a sentence today. So we're going to start getting some writing going. So what I'm going to do today, and what we're going to do uh, today in this writing lesson, is we're going to build a simple sentence, and then we're going to add descriptive words and details to it. So we're going to start working with something called adjectives. Adjectives are descriptive words, and they're specifically descriptive in the sense that they describe nouns. Now, nouns are people, places, and things. Alright, so we're going to learn how to use our adjectives to describe our so I'm going to write a really simple sentence here, and I want you to write it down, either on a piece of paper, in a workbook, or in your journal. So here's our really simple sentence. The dog is walking This is what I would call a snoozeville sentence. It's boring. There's no details. When I read it, it puts me to sleep. The dog ran in the park. What? What? Oh, hang on. Yeah, I was in the middle of the lesson there. Dog ran in the park. There's no details there. That's a simple, boring sentence. It doesn't tell me anything. So here's what we're going to do. First of all, I want you to underline the two nouns in this sentence. There are two. See if you can figure it out yourself before I underline them. But the two nouns in this sentence are the dog and the park. Okay, so I'm going to underline those two words. You do that too, please. <clears throat> so the dog and the park are our nouns. They're people, places, or things. So the dog is a thing, park is a thing. Or a place, sorry. Park is a place. Uh, so that's our nouns. Okay, so let's add some adjectives to the sentence to make it more interesting. So, how can we describe the dog? Well, the dog could be shaggy, could be hairy, could be happy. All good adjectives. Uh, so, for this one, I'm going to give the adjectives to you, but then I'm going to ask you to do one on your own, see if you can write a descriptive sentence with some adjectives. So, let's call this dog shaggy and happy. We'll give them two adjectives to describe it. We only want to do two. We don't want to get too crazy with the adjectives. We don't want to say the shaggy, happy, crazy, funny, silly dog. That gets to be too much. We only want to use two, maybe three adjectives to describe each of our nouns. And in some cases, we can just use one as well. But we want to get descriptive here. So I'm going to change this to the shaggy, happy dog. You write that sentence down too, please. Now, what we're going to do here, we know our, uh, our nouns now are dog, we're underlining them, and park, so go ahead and underline that. You see this a little bit better? Okay, so we know that that is our nouns. So, our adjectives now, and I'm going to use red to underline our adjectives. You don't have to use different colors, it's okay. I'm going to underline the adjectives that we use. So, the descriptive words we use here are shaggy and happy. Okay. So remember, adjectives are descriptive words that describe the noun. So shaggy and happy describe our dog. I hope you're noticing something about this sentence. We've described the dog now with adjectives, but we haven't described the park. Remember, our adjectives describe our nouns. So we've got two nouns here, park and dog. So let's describe the park. It could be green, it could be lush, it could be sunny. It could be, uh, let's see, what else could be beautiful? There's a one, let's call it that. So now I'm going to even make this sentence more descriptive. This is Snoozeville. This is getting a little bit better, but we can even make it more impressive, more descriptive. Okay, so now, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to think of two adjectives to describe the park, and I'm going to do it kind of as I'm writing. So copy this sentence down, please. Copy all the sentences down as I go. The shaggy 
there's our first adjective. Happy, I like that one. Dog ran in the beautiful sunny park. Now I forgot to talk about a couple of things. First of all, make sure your sentences start with the capital and end with the period. In this case, it's not a question or it's not an exclamation mark because it's not exciting. So we start with the capital and we end with the period. Now here's a uh, bit of uh, grammar that you may not know, or a bit of punctuation, excuse me. That's the This is a comma. And we have two commas there. The commas separate the adjectives. So we'll work on that. If you're not doing that right now, don't worry about it. We'll keep working on that. But that's what that is, a comma between the adjectives. It gives it pause. The shaggy, happy dog ran in the beautiful, sunny park. So when you read it, you pause for just a little millisecond there between. OK, so we know our nouns, dog and park. Now, let's underline those adjectives, because we've got four adjectives now. The shaggy, happy, oops, dog, beautiful, sunny park. So shaggy and happy describe the dog. Beautiful, sunny, describe park. OK, so we took this snoozeville sentence, boring, made it a little bit better, and then it made it even more detailed when we describe both of those uh, nouns. OK, excellent. So that's how we make a sentence more interesting, go from snoozeville to detailed and interesting, just by adding adjectives. So I want you to try one on your own now. And I'm going to give you this simple sentence, and then you can try adding adjectives. Here it is. The boy did his homework. Oh, I almost fell asleep. <coughs> Excuse me. I almost fell asleep while I wrote that. Boring, boring, boring. So you're going to put your adjectives in to describe the boy, and you're going to put your adjectives in to describe homework. And you're doing this one independently on your own. So give it a try. Add your adjectives. If you need help, you can always ask your parents for, for some descriptive words. But hopefully you can think of some descriptive words on your own. And if you have to use some of the ones we already used, nothing wrong with that. All right, there's your first writing lesson. Uh, and we will definitely go.